Hey hey, welcome back to another guide of mine. This time I'm going to show you how to convert your Valheim single player world to a dedicated server. This image I'm showing you here is just an example of how my current setup is. That way you don't get confused when I start mentioning about my gaming PC and a dedicated server. This is my personal preferences. I like to keep things separated and not all my eggs in one basket, if you know what I mean. If you do want your friends joining your server, you will need to set up port forwarding on your router. Ports to port forward are going to be 2456 through 2458. As I have mentioned in my other videos, Google this if you don't know how to port forward on your current router. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. So simply just open up a browser and just type in Steam CMD downloads and make sure it's on this one. Go to Steam CMD, Web Developer Community. Click on Windows, click on the links to download the files. So while you are still downloading Steam CMD, let's just go ahead to your C drive and we'll just make a new folder called Steam CMD. All right. Okay, once you have Steam CMD downloaded, it should be in the downloads folder. Just go ahead and right click, hit extract all. You can browse. And we'll go to this PC, C drive, and we're gonna look for that new folder you just created called CCMD. Let's go ahead and select the folder and just hit extract. And once it's in this folder, it should just only have this steamcmd.exe file. And once you double click on it, it will go ahead and populate all these other files that you need here. And that's it. Okay, while you have steamcmd wide open, we are gonna run these commands, okay? Force underscore install underscore well that's not underscore d-i-r-c colon backslash valheim server and the next one is going to be login anonymous and now we're going to do app underscore update Eight nine six 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 zero space validate. All right, and just hit enter and let it download all its files. Okay, now we'll have to go to a Fire Explorer, and we'll just simply go to this PC or your C drive, and let's look for that new folder we just created, which is called Valheim Server. Now we want to launch this Valheim underscore server exe. Okay, just double click on it let it do its thing we need to do this to generate some files that we're needing and it's going to close once it's all done but just ignore all assets for now if you do get that it's the first time i've seen that though all right so you can skip this if you're hosting your dedicated server on your gaming pc but you still want to navigate to the same path and for those who likes two baskets of eggs this is for you okay now we'll need to launch the uh run on your start menu we'll just type in run right here and make sure it says system and run tap on it and this is exactly what you want to put in there percentage user profile percentage backslash app data and just hit ok and it should bring you to this and now we want to navigate to local low iron gate Valheim worlds underscore loco all right and you should have only like these dedicated right here okay these are my old world uh, we will get to that here soon but leave this open all right and now we're just gonna step take one step back to Valheim and go back to worlds dash loco now this is so we can share this folder to my gaming PC for this to work on your devices they need to be on the same network. If this is too complicated, you can always log into your Google Drive or whatever cloud storage platform you have, upload, download the files. That way, when we upload the Valheim Worlds from the gaming PC to your dedicated server, it will bypass network and sharing method. We're gonna right click, go to properties, go to the sharing tab, and we want to share this and just add in the account that you want. Right now, mine is for uh, this account, 
which will have read and write. And then once you have the username in there, just hit add and then hit share. Okay, now on the gaming PC, you want to launch Valheim. So we just simply do that real quick here. Now just go to start game and manage saves down here. All right, and we want to go to the worlds tab. And you can choose the world that you want to move. All right, and you should have an option to move to local and you want to click on that. But I already done it to this world. This is the world that I want to move. And I already clicked on that, so it's moved to the local storage already. And once you do that, you can have an option to move it back to the cloud if you want, but we're not gonna do that. All right, so we're just gonna hit back. All right, once you've done that, we're just gonna start so I'm just going to join a new world. This is the world we've uh, saved locally. Okay, so we're going to hit start. And pretty much what we want to do is just join the game. And then once we join it successfully locally, we just exit the game after. So we'll do that. And then now we'll just need to quit. That's all we had to do. All right. So on the gaming PC, we want to do the exact same commands that we did. Go to your start menu. Type in run and then do the same thing percentage user profile percentage backslash app data okay now we want to go to local low and look for iron gates we can probably just type it right here iron gate there it is and then Valheim and then you want to choose world local if your Valheim version is pretty brand new for the world if you have an older version of the Valheim version for the worlds, they will sit in this folder right here. And this is what they will look like. The Bermuda Triangle. These are very old. As you can see, the last time it was modified was 2021. Uh, that's four years ago from this video recording. So we're going to go back. But if you do have a world, it's going to work the same way. So we're just going to do this for demonstration purposes. We're just going to copy everything here. All right, and then we're going to open up a new file explorer, but we're going to go back to that server. Go back to that server. Let's go back and right click on worlds underscore local. Go back to sharing and we're just going to copy this network path right here. Okay, just copy that. All right, and then we're going to go back to our gaming PC. I know this is a little hectic here and just paste that in there in the path right up there like that. Okay, it should be prompting you to log in with the local account that has access to that dedicated server. So just type in the credentials and you should get right in. And then what you want to do is pretty much just copy all this and then paste it in here. Once you've copied them over, they're going to have these .db files right here, right? And the .fwl. These are very important. Okay, you want to make sure you have these. All right, and once we've done that, we're gonna go back to the server now. Okay, just to make sure that we have everything in the server properly, uh, we're just gonna go back to worlds underscore local, which is app data, local low, iron gate, Valheim, worlds underscore local, and voila, it's there. Okay, now we want to go edit the batch file to start the server. You can minimize this, close it out, whatever you wanna do. All right, and you should have this batch file right here in the Valheim server and the C drive. All right, and you want to just make a backup of it real quick. So just copy and we could just paste it in there. This is what it's going to look like, right? This is the default template. I'm going to do a little comparison. So this is my edited version. And then this is the um, default version right here. So edited version, default version, edited version, default. All right. And what we want to edit is going to be the name, the dash name. Put in your server or your world name in there exactly how it is so if you don't remember what your uh, world name was called we're going to go back to that local worlds that underscore local cannot talk it is right here a new world okay just make sure it matches that a new world I'll leave the ports by defaulted and then now you want to do the same thing here 
on dash world just put your server name in there and then also put in a password to join the server this is my password to join the server All right, and you notice in the default template that I don't have crossplay well none of my friends are on actual console or have any crossplay functions I think it's like with Epic Gaming and Xbox Game Pass if they do have that then you want to leave this in so you'll want to add in crossplay if you do have friends that are Xbox Pass or Epic Gaming so just keep that in mind I don't think Valheim is out for console but do correct me if I'm wrong on that and you want to do the slash public and then one what this mean is it's going to show the server on the community server tab once you search up a new world i also do recommend you checking out the valheim dedicated server manual uh, this is where you can do some of the server settings modifications such as your save intervals uh, your backups also presets on how hard you want your world to be uh, raid modifier, uh, your resources, how much you want, portals, whether you want it casual, hard, very hard. But go ahead and go through this document and just set up whatever you want to set up to. All right, so this is what I've added. I've added the backups to six, uh, the save interval to 1800, which is pretty much 30 minutes. A modifier, you have to do this for each modification, so you have to do dash modifier and then combat the easy which you can find the documentation on Valheim's uh, the C drive where you download the Valheim dedicated server should be this Valheim dedicated server manual it's a PDF and if you read through this this is what you'll have to modify and what we have for death penalty is dash modifier death penalty hard and then the dash modifier resource less and if we do happen to change this from less to more right is it more let's see all right we're just going to test this out just to make sure it does work so let's do most resource most and this should be um three times instead of 0 0.75 save that and to properly close out your server you just click into it and control c you may have to hit it multiple times and this is how you properly shut down your server if you just click on the x it could corrupt some files in your world and then hit yes okay and then we just launch the server back up and we're just gonna simply double click onto it to start it up okay so as soon as you see the game server connected right here that means your server started successfully and now we just need to launch the game okay we are at the menu screen now i want to do start game and we're gonna do join game and let's look for that bad boy eh? let's go to filter a new world right there oh. all right and we're gonna hit connect all right so this is on, on a brand new character so if your friends join without or join this world as you can see, I have nothing discovered here. I'm just going to talk to Hugin real quick, and he's going to give us a little torch. And I'm going to go towards west side because that's where my old base is. Okay, <laughs> that took a little while, but I found my uh, old base. Uh, I went all the way around when I should have just went like west-ish. But, yeah, here's my single-player base that I had set up. And now... It's a dedicated server. We're back in the world and just a general tip if you do want to see if your, ch your world settings did change. Just press F2. Okay, and look at that. The resource rate is at times 3, which is really nice. Okay, so we know it works. And F2 to close it back out. And we'll just go pick up a rock. We should have three rocks now. Perfect. All right. Well, there you go. And that is how you set up the world settings. Okay, play around with it get the feel for it i uh, hope this helped and enjoy consider liking and subscribing to help me out with youtube's algorithm and feel free to comment down below what dedicated server you want to see next don't forget to check out my other videos on dedicated server setups i may have created one just for you already other than that you all have a great rest of your day or night cheers